in the last year or two years or more, I don't know, a third, uh, you can say, coordinate, a third coordinate kind of emerged. And this coordinate is the superclass. So essentially, the idea of the superclass developed from the idea of subclasses in dicotyledons because uh, there are six subclasses in the dicotyledons. And each subclass uh, in the dicotyledons consists of various orders and families. So taking the idea of the sensation further, we started to explore if there was a common sensation, you can say, in each subclass. So for that, we had to look at what was common in the various orders and the families of a given subclass. So what was common between, for example, in the first subclass between Pulsatilla, Heliborus, Opium, Asarum, Nux, Moscata, Camphora, what was the common... Uh, dynamic one can say instead of the word sensation you can say what is the common dynamic and if you explore these remedies which i named just now asarum camphora nux moscata heliborus pulsatilla staphysagria and opium cocculus if these kind of remedies we explore which are taken from different orders of the first subclass you find that most of them are introverted. That means they go inside. You know, Camphora has the symptom that he puts himself into a little world while the outside world is kept away. Nux Moscata has the same kind of experience. He gets disoriented in the outer world and tries to find his own familiar universe. Heliborus has the same idea. He doesn't allow any sensations to come from the outer world to his inner world. You know, he just blocks it with a, a shield of uh, numbness or uh, um, anesthe anesthesia almost, you can say. Same with opium, same with cocculus. And many of these remedies also you find are very sleepy when you talk of Nux Moscata or Heliborus or opium or even cocculus. They're sleepy remedies. They go inside. They're introverted, sleepy. Uh, 